DevExpress WinForms controls support HTML and CSS templates, which allow you to design modern UIs from scratch. If you've never worked with this feature in our WinForms controls, I recommend that you start from the Create Your First Template Using DevExpress video. Also, make sure to check our Syntax Editor Overview video to learn how our template designer tool can assist you in building templates. In version 22.1, we're expanding the HTML and CSS templates feature to multiple new controls. One of them is the alert control. For years, we've been recommending our Toast Notification Manager component as the best option for creating notifications. With web-inspired templates on board, this is no longer the case. If we look at our HTML and CSS templates demo in our 22.1 Demo Center and switch to the alert control module, you'll see our four sample notification templates that you can reuse in your real-world projects. The Toast template creates notifications inspired by modern Windows Toast alerts. Click the Show the Alert button to invoke a notification with the selected template. The Glow template features a custom design with a glow effect around a notification form. If you inspect the demo code, you'll find a custom code that retrieves the color of the notification's left icon and uses it for the glow effect. For example, if the yellow warning icon is selected, the halo around the form is also yellow. The simple and dark templates are examples of minimalistic notification designs. These are perfect when you don't need any complex user interaction. Let's switch to Visual Studio and see how you can use this feature to create templated notifications. My form already has an alert control. To open the template designer, I invoke the component smart tag menu. Any template is, in essence, a simple tree of div elements. Instead of making my own template, I'll copy the simple template from our demo center. This template is extremely straightforward and should not present any difficulties if you want to explore its element tree. In this template I copied from the demo, the caption, text, and image elements are using placeholders, the dollar sign next to the curved brackets. Since I don't have any data items from which these elements can retrieve values, I'll replace these placeholders with static values. As for the image tag, I have an SVG collection populated with images from the DevExpress gallery. This collection is assigned to the Alert Control's HTML images property. This allows me to use images from this collection as image tag values. When I press the Control Space hotkey, the syntax editor suggests images. To display this notification, I simply call the show method that takes only an owner form as a parameter. You can see this notification popping up in the lower right corner of my screen. By the way, all alert settings available for regular notifications, location, auto hide delay, pop up animation, and others are functional when you use HTML templates as well. Back to the template designer, I'll now replace static caption and text values with placeholders. You can notice the syntax editor suggests these names since they're standard placeholders recognized by the component. The show method has overloads that accepts values for these parameters. If I enter sample caption and sample text strings, these texts are passed into the template. Now, you can add as many placeholders as you like. For example, I have a sample alert data class with three strings and one SVG image field.
I will add the third div element to accommodate this last string. Note that placeholder names should match data object field names, and the binding mechanism is case sensitive too. To pass these values to a notification, I'll use yet another show overload, the one that accepts the data context parameter. I'm simply using a new instance of my alert data class, but in real life apps, you'll probably retrieve an already existing data item. Another way to pass a data item is to handle the before form show event. Here you can assign data items to the HTML pop-up.dataContext property. This technique allows you to call the core show method and customize the notification when it's about to be shown. The missing piece of functionality are clickable HTML elements. You will need to create at least one element that allows users to dismiss the message. To respond to users clicking this element, handle the HTML element mouse click event and check the elements ID. IDs are set in the HTML markup and must be unique. If an element ID matches the close button's ID, call the HTML popup.close method. You can add more elements, for instance, a button that toggles the Boolean pinned property, the property that allows notifications to stay on screen until a user manually dismisses them. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified anytime we release new content. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.